I was very young when I started the book. I was literally 23 and didn't get it right the first time, just screwed it up, quit. I had children to feed and eventually went back to it, as I said today, because my wife, the children's mother, wanted to know how it came out. She's very fond of it. And she sort of prodded me into trying it again, even though I was doing bread and butter writing too. So I'd buy time with a magazine piece or an interview and then come back and work in The Last Unicorn for a while, which is why it was put together in a very spotty style. Then, then I went over it to make it look as though I knew what I was doing all along, because that's what you do. My understanding of it has changed very gradually over the years. I just thought of it as a fairy tale that was also a spoof on fairy tales. And that's, that's certainly true. But I think what got me and continues to get me is the people who come up afterwards or before try to tell me about what the book meant to them or the movie and start to cry. Sometimes they simply can't get the words out. I can spot it a long way off. And I feel like Schmendrick, the magician, when he casts real magic for the first time, picks himself up because he's fallen on his face doing it and thinks, I wonder what I did. I did something. Just pretty much the way I feel. I know I did something, but I'm still finding out all these years later what it is I did.